car program today. So I don't know if you've got any background information yet. A little bit. A little bit. Does anyone know what a watershed is? something very similar to what we do in our office. Now it's important to note when we do their, our research for our report cards, which we update every five years to see how we're doing, how we're improving or not improving or remaining steady, it takes a long while. We do this over a long period of time collecting all this information. Oh, it's cobble. Um, we're using this little measuring thing. Uh-huh. And we hold it up starting from a line up here and then the measurements tell us what size it is. How are you enjoying doing this today? Oh, this is a lot of fun so far. Yeah. And did you have an interest in, in biology or, or environmental studies? Yeah, I, I, uh, I like uh, being outside and doing stuff uh, more hands-on, so getting out here instead of being in the classroom is a lot of fun. Um, well, it's a great opportunity for our grade 12 classes um, with the Geography, Environment and Resource Management class. Um, we've been partnering with uh, the Upper Thames Region Conservation Authority for, oh, I don't know, like six or eight years now doing this report card program, measuring uh, different um, uh, different aspects of the river, the stream surveys, and it's a great program for kids to get involved and actually get hands-on um, experience in, in the field. It's one of our only opportunities, so we're really excited and, and happy that we get this opportunity. Great. shake in the water uh, so that the air bubbles come out and there's good contact of the water inside the sleeve and in contact with the probe. Then you will uh, provide the, the recorder with the number, the conductivity uh, level. Actually, yeah, it's yeah, going seven. up, but... 7.97? Yeah, just say 7.97. So we're here at the Report Card Program in Oxbow, and it's being funded through TD, Canada Trust Friends of the Environment Foundation. Can't do it without them. That's right. So you want to face your net upstream, okay? And what you're going to actually do is with your foot, you're going to kick right in front of your, your net. Just the walking around and just being able to be out in the nature. 